In early June 2014, the St. Petersburg Ephremov Institute specialists completed type tests of full-scale prototypes of DC bus bars for superconducting coil power supply systems of the ITER magnet system. The series of tests carried out at the Institute were attended by specialists from the ITER organization and the ITER Russia. This is not a cheap system. It is labor-consuming, metal-consuming with a number of complicated technical solutions. The 50 to 70 kiloamperes current is a rated current that will feed superconducting coils of the ITER tokamak. And it is the current that we are testing now on the bus bars. In human dimension, simply, this is 10,000 times as much as needed to provide a regular apartment with electricity. The high current bus bars that connect tokamak coils with their power supplies to resistor converters together with powerful switching devices and resistors for extraction of energy from the magnet system compose the core part of forceful electrotechnical equipment to be manufactured and delivered by Russia. Almost all of this equipment appears to have no analogs in the world and covers 100% of the total project's needs. The tests carried out in St. Petersburg this spring included the broader complex of electric, hydraulic and mechanical tests of the bus bars elements aimed at checking their parameters for matching the technical specifications. The test's results proved rectitude of the technical solutions made at designing stage, including manufacturing technology. These are the type tests for testing technical solutions that were taken at the stage of designing and manufacturing. We are now measuring current, temperature and time required for cooling. And the equipment is in some way unique, because it's designed both for high current and high voltage. After the tests are finished, we will be confident enough to start serial production. In compliance with the procurement arrangement signed in 2011, the Yefremov Institute is obliged to manufacture and ship to the I.O. about 5.5 km of the bus bars with total weight exceeding 500 tons. These results give the green light to the bus bars serial production.